Hi Jazz, welcome again to the Pro Squash Challenge. This time against Gina Kennedy, old friend and rival who you played a couple of weeks ago in the English Closed Squash Championship. Are you looking forward to tonight? Yeah, really looking forward to it. It's always a great time playing here and really good initiative to help the pros get some matches in before some big events or if it's only their only matches they can play at the moment. It's just a really good initiative. And hopefully squash will be back on April the 12th in some form uh, for everybody to play. Uh, I think it'll be a while before we actually have crowds watching, but how much do you miss playing in front of crowds? I miss it a lot, especially here because you know all the members so much and they always are so supportive so it's sad when they can't come to something like this and watch a home player play but hopefully really soon it will be able to happen. Well let's hope they're watching from home tonight and if not catching the replay on Wednesday or Thursday. Anyway, all the best for tonight. Thank you. Look forward to chatting up. Hi Gina. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to the Pro Squash Challenge here at St George's Hill. We're very much looking forward to seeing you play jazz again. You competed against each other in the English squash nationals a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. How, how was that match? Yeah, it was really good. I mean, jazz and I um, live quite close, so we train together a lot. So um, we know each other's games quite well and we're like good friends as well. So it's always hard like getting on court with someone whose game you know and who you hang out with quite a bit. but. Um, it was a really good match, it's always like really fair, good quality squash with Jazz, so it was a tough battle and I'm looking forward to another tough match tonight. We're, we're looking forward to seeing you play, you've only not long returned from uh, being at a U US university, tell us a little bit about that experience. Yeah, so I graduated um, from Harvard in May of 2020 and um, since then been trying to get a kickstart to my pro career but obviously uh, the pandemic has put a bit of a hold on that. Um, but yeah, I've just been at home um, training with my coach Ben Ford and I've also um, started a master's at Nottingham University so I'm based up there now when things aren't in lockdown. Um, so yeah, I've just been training really hard and just yeah, really enjoying getting the exposure of playing these competitive matches again. And there's been quite a lot on the internet and Twitter and things about people combining studying with their professional squash careers. Um, you're certainly somebody who's been able to do that to uh, a great extent and it's obviously worked for you. Um, so have you got any comments on that? Yeah, definitely. I mean, as any squash player knows, there's a lot of time in the day and on the weekends to kill when you're not training. So I find it good for my, like, m the mental side of my game, just to have something to distract myself and I can it helps me you know relieve some pressure when I know that it's not my sole focus um, so yeah I'm really enjoying my studies at Nottingham Uni and yeah my I loved my time at Harvard as well so got no complaints. <laughs> well, it's fantastic to hear and obviously you'd like to talk in more depth about that at some other stage but uh, all the best for the match tonight. Thank you thanks a lot. Welcome to St George's Hill Lawn Tennis Club for the 10th round of the Pro Squash Challenge Series match which features the two girls who came second and third in the recent English Squash Championship held in Manchester Georgina Kennedy on the left in black serving and against Jasmine Hutton of Sussex returning and white dress. Jasmine, the left hander. Comfortable down that side. Probing Kennedy's backhand. A little bit of loose ball from Jazz there. Characteristic fast front wall at St George's Hill. But viewers will notice that the conditions are somewhat colder on there. And as, as we saw there, the ball dying in the back corner. Hutton made a late decision to take it and just got away with a slightly lucky win winner. You'll notice that the, the lengths will be very much rewarded there. 
has had a good length to Georgina's forehand, forcing a weak post, but it didn't even make the front wall. So the ball firing through off the front wall, but dying. There it did it again in the back. So the girls are going to have to cut that off. It's just like the old days here. So clubs back in the day didn't have any heating. Scampering around using her athleticism rather too much. She got dragged into a hard hitting game in Manchester, which cost her. But if she can hit great lengths like that, she's in with a good chance. So we started at a very fast pace. And there's a, a very confident volley kill. A little bit safer for the attacking player than playing a feathery drop at this stage of the match, but still. Very effective. Nice switch of the play by Hutton, lifting the ball, and she's mixing the pace well. And, uh, Very early we saw the uh, Kennedy trademark boast. She's got a great boast, Gina Kennedy, taking the score to three all. Not sure whether that was caused by a great length from Hutton, but uncharacteristic. Error from Gina. Nice variety from Jazz, putting in the log. A little bit edgy from Gina. Two mistakes, that's rare for her to make two unforced errors in, the, in a row. Giving Jazz a 5-3 lead. Both girls returning serve at the moment cross court. Offered a sign of nerves, but not a bad tactic to switch the play. Could get by Hutton, but unable to move out of the way, giving a stroke to Kennedy. Another cross court return. I mean, if you return cross court, you've got to get the width. Hutton playing where she likes to play. And yet another forehand straight kill. Plenty of margin on those shots, so it's a good shot to um, play fairly safely. Not, not a high risk shot. Learning from previous mistakes and cutting the ball off there. Kennedy looking at the wall as if it's the wall's fault. It could have been. But I think it was down to good length from her opponent. Finding the wall with her serve that time. Good squeeze from Georgina. So, uncharacteristic error giving um, Jasmine Hutton an 8 4 lead. She likes to play from in front. Does Jazz. And a peach of a lob. So the heating's been on in the surrounding area all day, but it's still fairly chilly. Great get from Jazz. Edgy drop from Georgina, but 5-9 now. free-flowing match so far. Good get from Jazz, but she got a little stuck. And she's on the receiving end of this rally. And Gina made Jazz do all the work in that rally. 9-6 up there. Has a commanding lead. Keep Gina in a place. Keep playing positively here. Great to see the girls volleying. Bit of luck needed, but that's put her back in contention in this game. Put Gina back in contention. Poor width on the return. Again, a little bit scrappy, a little bit edgy from Jazz. And a weak 
And we get coming back a bit square from um, Gina's attacking boasts. Players always make themselves vulnerable to a stroke. Edgy dig from Hutton. Still in the rally. Not clearing quite well enough. Georgina taking a little bit of control here. Well done with the lob though. A couple of nice lobs getting herself out of trouble. Not quite wide enough on the cross court though. Great pace. Slightly edgy. She's got to learn that. Just, just enough for that. Can up and hold on to so what is now a slender lead. Very positive, fine margin shot on Gina Kennedy, levelling the scores. And just get out of jail here. Great go. And another one. Responding well with the decent man. An edgy error from Jasmine giving Gina game ball. Snatched return from Jasmine, she's a little edgy. That was a shot that served her well in the English Championship, that chopped cross court backhand. Did it off the ground as well, but on the volley they're very effective. Good variation from Jazz. I like this. Got the reward as well from a good lob. In some ways, even though the court is a little cold, it's nice to see a court that rewards a, sh a decent shot. And however fast this court is, it always takes a decent length. Even on the hottest of days, sometimes we add up to 260 people in for the Premier League final and Channel Bass and Abinicio International. Kennedy running Hutton around the court. Hutton back in the rally now, did very well to come back. And a mistake from Gina, giving Jazz the first game. So after a, an even start, Jasmine Hutton pulled away, started playing confidently. A, a few uncharacteristic errors from Gina Kennedy, but she managed to erase those to pull back and even put herself in a winning position in that game, 10-9. And uh, Jasmine managed to stem the flow of errors that were coming from her racket and uh, stem the flow of Gina Kennedy to take the game, 12-10. So that's one game better already than she did in the English Championship. So Gina Kennedy, who is much one of the players who's combined her education with her squash. She went to Harvard under the tutelage of Mike Way, who famously coached Jonathan Power, like a former professional player, emigrated to Canada and has been at Harvard for a large amount of time and managed to supplement the great work that's been done by Ben Ford in Kent, working with Georgina 
for many years. I'm looking for a good start in the second. Had a good rally up to that point and Gina hit a fine margin shot. Too good for Jazz. Get a one love lead. Jazz putting pressure on with the volley. That's what I like about Jazz Hutton's game, the way she's always looking for volleys. Fastish pace. That boast from Kennedy. Left Jazz a little bit in indecisive at the front as to when to cut it off. She paid the price. Another one she should have taken early. A whip on the return again. That return for all those watching that want to learn. You've got to hit the side wall if you're going to go cross court with the return. Good lift there under pressure, that's another. And a good cut off. And again, she learned the lessons not to let it drop. A good length from Kennedy, forcing the stroke, forcing the weak shot from Hutton. I wouldn't be laughing at four love down. really controlling this game having got off to a great start five love her confidence will be soaring now that time a forehand low kill off the bounce from Hutton okay. quite a few of her winners coming on on the forehand side giving Georgina too much time in front of her there. She was able to hold and put her deep. What would normally be an overhit length, paying tremendous dividends here at St George's Hill tonight. As a commanding lead for Gina Kennedy, she puts the work of boast in again. And goes for that trademark shot, but a tremendous response. She read it very well. And you've got a deceptive player in front of you. As Hutton was trying to deceive Kennedy there. Back to basics. Gina was watching the ball like a hawk, and that was the superb backhand drop from the back of the court. Still looking to dominate, still looking to attack. Lost her way a little bit in this game. Much of that has been down to Gina Kennedy's assertive, varied play. And now Gina's getting the serve on the wall. Better width on the volley, cross court from Hutton. Good boast. Good recovery from Kennedy. Good to see both players playing the ball, hardly a let. And that's a great hold. She committed Jasmine Hutton to the straight drop and then flicked it across court. Kept the same body position. Simple bit of deception. Again, with some margin for error. So that was pretty conclusive. 11 1 to Georgina Kennedy. It's one game all. So Jazz Hutton needs to regroup. Obviously no coaches in the corners. 
tonight. No crowd. The place is eerily empty with an absence of people. Jazz Hutton, who's improved a lot under the tutelage of Robert Owen. Who works with several top class players, including uh, Paul Pohl. Dina chomping at the bit, back on court, getting the ball back to its to at least the temperature it was at the end of the second. And just sensibly joining in. Some of you might remember the, the famous two ball warmers that used to hang outside clubs at, at courts where you used to put your ball in these little ball-shaped heaters. They're rather like double egg cups, you can put your balls in there to heat them up between games. Very popular during the squash heyday of the 70s and 80s. Ball all warm. Whoa. More luck than judgment there. But again, she cut it off and she got the rewards if what's somewhat lucky. Not wide enough on the cross scores again, I think that's a bit of a theme. And Gina, levelling the scores with a fine chopped cross court. In a hurry to get on with it now. Gina, and Jazz has got to somehow stop her flow. A little bit wayward. The idea was right. Some good quality squash here. On both players. Gina forcing the loose back end. Just staying in the rally. Notice how both players are cutting the ball off. Has moved well into that. A bit. I'd say you got to hit through it on this court, but she slightly overdid it. But error for a while from Gina. Jazz getting back in the game. Puts a serve on the side wall. Sets herself up for a volley. Really impressed with the volleying of both players here. It's a shame, got a bit excited. Just moving a little bit too much on the ball there on that back on volley. I like the way she was trying to switch the play. Good length again from her. Great recovery from Kennedy. Good variety. Playing her way back in. To this game. Commentators Hutton didn't vary the pace enough. She went down three love to Kennedy in the recent English Championship. She certainly varied the pace in that rally, but whatever pace you play at, you can't make unforced errors. As peering at a, a float there, check it was in. By Kennedy. Slightly loose, Jan should have done more with that. Pace again. She set herself up. Brutal rally. Important point. Particularly for Hutton.
just clipping the tin. Slightly closing the face and the ball dropping below the head of the tin, so difficult shot to play, having let the ball drop. Has needed a great base from Kennedy work here. Wrong decision from Jazz. Probably should have got in and played it earlier. Waited. It's a common, common thing with all levels of player. They let, they let the boast go towards the side wall and then wish they hadn't. Because <laughs> it's decision making so important. It's that much easier to play if you can get there on it. For us old geezers, sometimes there's no choice. Any boast dies. Phenomenal pace from both girls. I was lucky to get away with that one. Fantastic to see the ball being cut off like this by both players. Tremendous get from Taz. Must have been a bit puffed because I thought she could have got that. Regina. Back to business. Steady play. Formidable working boasts. And a tight short ball there. an emphatic lead. Just not quite able to capitalise when Gina does hit a weak ball cross court. And that's sometimes the difference when you're playing from behind someone. That boast again. We know how quick Jazz Hutton is. And it only shows the quality of the boast. Gina got away with it slightly over. Get ball in there. In terms of it not going out, but Hutton hit a good drop. Important to... I was just going to say it was important for Jazz to get a few points on the board there. But a winner coming from serve. Due to the COVID conditions, the players have to go off and collect the ball themselves when it goes out. And quickly back on court. Seven million balls. And Jazz a little bit open when she gets a bit edgy. She's just a little bit open on that forehand. What Gina Kennedy's done so well here is cut her own error rate, put all the pressure on Jasmine Hutton in the last two games, almost to the point where Jazz is wondering where the next point's going to come, come from. And when a player has that in their head, they get more desperate. Obviously, towards the end of the games, when all, all is pretty much lost, you can relax and play a, a few shots, but this is psychologically quite demoralising for Jazz. So it's going to be a tremendous strength of character test here for her. Once again, Gina back on court first here at St George's Hill. Up with quite a tradition, especially since they've had the all glass court, which was put in in 2010, staging big events. Channel Bass started in 2015, has a 25k tournament, and from 16 to 19. Continued as 
a 100k tournament. Chevet, Parag, Moment, and Cole. Not a bad list of winners. Some great matches to boot. So, fourth game. Gina Kennedy. 2 1 up. Looking commanding. Once again, in a hurry to get on with it. Bustling her way to the first point. Jazz can take away from this uh, cross court. Generally, haven't quite been more than that. Both players have struggled. That's a little bit, that's better. And again, through the middle. It's almost too near the middle there to give Gina a great chance. But Gina again, herself, not quite getting the width. That's better. Setting it up. up nicely at the front there. Not able from this position of deficit to play the shots with the confidence needed. And ultimately paid the price because she played the right shot at the right time a couple of times but lacked a little conviction and enabled. Gina Kennedy to get back in the rally. So the rallies are well contested, but Gina is coming out on top. Jazz really has to dig deep now. 2 1 4 love down. Hard to play with confidence when you. So far down, your game plan's been unravelled by someone who seems to have an answer to all that you throw at them, you know, all the questions that you pose at them. Gina favouring the backhand serve, pitches it onto the side wall. High quality game, which is so quick onto the ball at the front there. Seems to have got quicker as the match has progressed. She's finding her way on this grass. Last court. Worker boast again. Hutton lobbing. Good lob. Needed it. Some of the glass courts, it's hard to see the ball when the when it goes up. The top player's obviously used to it. But that lob from Jasmine came down from a great height. Gina working. Uh, slightly loose. Good straight drop from Gina. Pace is still high. A little bit deflated. Cutting. Hard to hang on when you're in trouble there. More width needed on the cross court. Striking the ball beautifully on her forehand there. Better length there. Once again, width's not good enough. Kennedy ever alert on the tee, able to crunch that volley into a winning position. Good movement from Hutton into the corner under pressure, relieved it well. Trying 
a boast of her own, Kennedy. Struggling to get out of the way, but she did enough and managed to keep the ball tight enough. It's one way traffic at the moment. We come to the ball. And finally, she gets some reward. Good rallies, as I said, but Gina Kennedy's just had more weapons in their armory. A little bit more steady. Weak short serve takes Gina Kennedy to match point. Eight match points. Jazz still working. Boast to take it. I'm trying to get some respectability in this fourth game score. Difficult shot to carry off in the end. And Gina Kennedy runs out. 10 12, 11 1, 11 3. 11-2 winner. Unlucky, Jez. I was very impressed with you in the first game. Thanks. Uh, unfortunately, you didn't get off to a great start in the second, but um, apart from that, you didn't play badly. Gina's covered everything and uh, worked you very hard. Um, were you actually pleased with that when you, when you look back on it um, and the fact that you took a game this time and you didn't last time? Do you see that as progress? I do see it as progress, but it's also disappointing because it's I won the first and then obviously lost quite convincingly the last three games. So it's sort of it's sort of progress, but then I feel like it's still not as good as I hoped, to be honest. Yeah, well, any any loss is disappointing, but looking at it um, as an observer, I thought you, your games come on a lot. We saw a lot of fantastic squash, particularly in the first, and we definitely. Look forward to welcoming, welcoming you back again in the Pro Squash Challenge very soon. Thank you. Fantastic performance, Georgina. We welcome you, as I said before, to the Pro Squash Challenge. Thank um, you. Jazz through the kitchen sink at you. Uh, played very well in the first game. She didn't play badly in the other three. I thought it was a consummate performance. You've Thank really you. added to your game since being at Harvard. Who coached you there? Yeah, so um, I just first want to say thank you so much for involving me in the Pro Squash Challenge event. It's great to be here and I really appreciate you guys putting on competitive matches for us. Um, you mentioned about Harvard. My coach at Harvard was Mike Way. Um, he's actually from England, um, but moved to America years ago. Um, he's a great coach and he helped my game, not only the technical side, but the mental side a lot. Um, so yeah, I still keep in touch with him and ask him for advice, so really grateful to him. And Mike Way, for those of you who don't know, coach, famously coached Jonathan Power. Yes, he did. <laughs> along with many others. Yeah. And he played the pro circuit for a while, back yeah. in the late 70s, early 80s, I back think. Back in the day, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, and your, your coach in uh, England, Ben Ford, who's coached you since you were a small girl. Yes. Tell us a little bit about Ben. Yeah, so like you said, Ben's been my coach since pretty much the day I picked up a racket. Um, him and I have a really, really good relationship. Like, he's so helpful. I talk to him about pretty much everything, and I wouldn't be the player I am today without him. So I owe everything, everything to him, honestly. Um, he spends hours and hours with me on court working on my technical side, my physical side of the game. Um, so yeah, he's the best coach. <laughs> And he's also put so much time into squash in general and the promotion of the game, both yeah. running tournaments and... Yeah, exactly. He's so, just like you, Danny, he's really keen to get squash going, not only for juniors, but for the pros. He's trying to put on a challenger event, um, which unfortunately got postponed, but hopefully that will um, start soon. And yeah, he's, he's just, he does a lot for the game. <laughs> yeah, and anybody could catch the podcast he was on. Yes, recently. I saw that. Yeah, yeah, it was a good one. Give yeah. it a listen. <laughs> that, was, that was very good. Well, it's great to surround yourself with great people. We'd love to welcome you back in a couple of weeks. Thank you, yeah. For another challenge. Yeah, I'd love to come back. Yeah, I want to say thanks again for putting this on. We all love to watch some live squash, so it's been really good for us during lockdown. So thank you.
and all the best for the rest of your uh, thank you rest of your squash <laughs> career obviously <laughs> but we'll started, see you long yeah. before <laughs> <laughs> thank you